Hey everyone, this is Steven Robles, and today I want to talk to you why it's not the best idea to edit and especially record podcasts with AirPods. Now listen, I have AirPods, I love AirPods, I have the AirPods 3, I got the AirPods Pro, I even have the AirPods Max, where you need that extra $30 cable just to connect it to a source hardwired. But there's a reason why you shouldn't use especially wirelessly connected headphones when you record and edit a podcast. It's okay to listen to it, obviously, just to enjoy it. If you want to check monitoring and see what it sounds like after you've edited a podcast, but I'm going to give you a few reasons why you want to use a good pair of wired headphones like these when you're editing your show. And before we get into that, I want to thank our sponsor, Buzzsprout. If you do have a podcast or you want to start a podcast, I highly recommend hosting with Buzzsprout. They have incredible features for beginner to advanced podcasters. Magic Mastering will auto levels and make your podcast sound great if you're just starting out. And you can even share visual sound bites of your podcast built in. That's a feature they include with all of their plans. And you can actually upload up to two hours of audio for free every month, totally for free. So check out that link in the video description and go to buzzsprout.com to sign up. So why shouldn't you use AirPods specifically wirelessly when you're recording? Let me cover that first. When you record a podcast, you really want to monitor your own voice as well as hearing the other person you're recording with. You might be recording with someone remotely over Zoom or Riverside.fm, another service where you can do remote podcast recording. I have a whole video on that. I'll link that above. You can check that out. But you want to be able to hear both your voice and your guest because your volume might be too high, it might be distorting, or there might be some room noise, or there might be something technically in the background. You're not going to hear those imperfections if you record with AirPods because there's no way to get your microphone into the AirPods. You can try to do it wirelessly, but you'll quickly learn that there's a terrible delay and it's really close to impossible to record that way, hearing yourself a few seconds later, which is the second reason why you shouldn't use AirPods when you're recording and editing is latency. They all connect to your devices using Bluetooth, even the expensive AirPods Max, and Bluetooth has an inherent latency or delay from the signal, the source, to your ears. And when you're actually talking, if there's any delay between you talking and hearing yourself, it's going to sound like a terrible echo. So you want to use wired headphones when you're recording and also when you're editing. I actually edit all my podcasts on iPad. I have a whole video on that. I'll link above. And when you're editing with wireless headphones, even AirPods, there's actually a delay between the waveforms you're seeing on screen and what you're hearing in your ear. And so it really helps to actually have a wired pair of headphones when you're editing. So there's no delay. When you edit that track, you know exactly where you edited and you can hear exactly where you're editing. The third reason why you want to use a wired pair of headphones when you're editing is sound quality. Now, AirPods sound great, especially the AirPods Max, but that doesn't necessarily mean they provide an accurate depiction of the sound that you're trying to edit. Another word about sound accuracy when recording and editing podcasts with AirPods, there's a lot of computational audio going on in AirPods, whether it's AirPods Max, AirPods 3, or Pro. You might have noise canceling on or transparency. There are ways to have neither of those modes with AirPods Pro and AirPods Max. You can actually have just nothing on, which would be the best if you really want to edit with AirPods. But they're doing a lot of computational audio to make it sound better in your ear. It's changing the EQ live depending on your environment. And that constant change in how it sounds in your ears is going to make editing difficult. You might be EQing for how it sounds right now in your AirPods, but if you move to another room of the house or something like your kids come home and they start making noise in the house, it's now going to adapt the EQ live to your environment and it's going to change how the podcast sounds. That's why you want to make sure those settings are off, which again is not super easy with the AirPods, but why when you use a wired pair of headphones like, again, like these or the Sonys, you don't have to worry about that kind of computational audio that's going to be going on, changing the sound as you're trying to edit. For $100, you can get the Sony MDR7506s, and those will actually provide a better real-life representation of the sound. I actually use these. These are the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros, 250 ohms. This only costs $160, $60 more than the Sony's. But I like these because they are high impedance. If you get the 250 ohm version, that's called high impedance, meaning it actually has more frequency response. You're actually going to hear more detail in the audio that you're editing. And if you're editing a podcast, you want to hear all that detail so you know how to EQ it, do other audio filters and settings. And so this is the 250 ohm version, but you do need a high impedance headphone jack to drive these. Otherwise, you might not get all the volume that you need. 
But I have found that even using a little adapter with my iPad, I get plenty of volume with these headphones. I also use the Sound Devices Mix Pre 3 as my audio interface on my Mac, and that provides enough sound as well. So get a wired pair of headphones. This way there's no latency, there's no delay between the source and what your ears are hearing, and you actually get a better audio representation of what you're editing. So you know it sounds great. Now because I edit all my podcasts on iPad, it is a little annoying because there's no more headphone jacks on iPads. So I actually have this USB-C adapter. This is from Hyper, I believe. I'll put a link in the video description, but it has a headphone jack right there. And so all I do is I put this USB-C adapter into the iPad, and then I take my wired headphones right here, my DT770 Pros, and I will connect it, boom, right there, and I will edit my podcast wired like that. It's a little cumbersome, again, for this reason, and this reason only, I would love if the iPad still had a headphone jack, but this adapter is not too cumbersome. You know, it sits right on the iPad. There's not like a dangling adapter. So this one from Hyper, I really like it. Again, I'll put a link in the show notes. Now, once you've edited your show, it's ready produced, you've exported it, you got your MP3 file ready to post to your podcast host, like Buzzsprout. Now, listen on as many devices as you'd like, and I would encourage you to try out what does your podcast sound like on AirPods? What does it sound like in your car, on your computer speakers, on your stereo, or on a HomePod? Once you've finished editing, it's good to listen to all those different destinations to see, is it too bassy? I know my car, it's a Kia Soul. I don't drive a fancy car, but there's really heavy bass in that car. But I wanna make sure that other people who might have similar cars with similar sound profiles that the podcast sounds good in that car as well as mine. So listen to it in the car. I listen to it on a HomePod. I listen to it just right out of my iPhone. I'll play the podcast right out of my iPhone speakers just to make sure that it sounds good everywhere. Then you can make some minor adjustments, maybe in the Q, maybe in volume settings. Sometimes I find that I think volume is even between me and my co-host, but when I listen on a different device, it sounds different, maybe because my co-host voice is deeper or not as deep or the mic they use. So once you're ready to monitor and see what does my podcast sound like, absolutely. Try it on AirPods, try it on different speakers, on HomePods, on your iPhone. Listen to it in as many places as you can to make sure it sounds good. But when you're editing your podcast, and especially when you're recording, to listen to yourself, you got to get a pair of wired headphones and you can get those Sonys. You can get these. Even if you just have a pair of wired headphones that came with your iPhone, again, it'll only connect to your iPhone because it probably has that lightning adapter. But even that cheap pair of wired headphones, you're at least not going to have that kind of delay and latency you have when you do it with AirPods. So do your best. Try to get a wired pair of headphones when you edit and record your podcast. For more podcasting tips, subscribe to the channel. You can hit subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and the bell icon so you don't miss a video. I'm also going to be doing more smart home videos. I'm building a new house, constructing it. I got the first video up talking about the wiring in the house, Ethernet, and networking. So check that video out. And again, subscribe. I got more videos coming. You can also follow me on Twitter here. I'd love to hear from you. Shoot your questions. What would you like to hear about in future videos, tutorials about podcasting, website building, Apple stuff, whatever you're interested in. Again, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.